here at St. Lucie Jewelry and Pawn in Jensen Beach, Florida. Um, if you're looking at this on our Facebook page, you should be able to see the address there. And I wanted to touch base with you on some above average guitars and guitar amps that are here. Um, I want you to take a look. What I'm currently playing right now is a 70s custom color Strat. This is a 3 volt neck on this guitar. It's the original 70s and it's all original. And we are up for offers on this guitar. And I am playing it through a Blackface uh, Fender Champ. Um, remember, Eric Clapton made these kind of famous. He like, used to like to play these a lot. But it's a great sounding amplifier, good for apartments and stuff, and it's also a really good investment. Um, if you take a look back here. All right, we're right here. We have a Valco Tremotone, and right behind it is a Lab Series L5. Um, again, that is the amp that BB King played for years, or not the actual one, but the same type of amp that he used for years. We have a Blackface 6162, I think, Super Amp. These are highly collectible, great amp. We've got a nice little Super O amp right here. It plays just fine. Um, I took it home and serviced it not too long ago. Below that is a Super Reverb, and I actually have a nicer Super Reverb as well, but you'll have to come in to see it. Uh, Silver Face. Here we have the legendary Roland Space Echo. Um, this is a great piece in great shape, works fine. Um, and we've got some less expensive amplifiers here. We've got a Princeton Chorus, and there's a nice little, uh, uh, I believe, crate bass amp underneath that. And here we have a, a nice Gibson guitar amp from the early 60s. And a Silverface Vibro Champ. Um, another Kalamazoo, I believe that is a Model 2. Yes, this is a Model 2. Um, great little amp. This is a Yamaha Pacifica that was signed by the Guess Who. If you're, if you're an autograph collector, that's a nice guitar. And then over on the wall, Right there, we have a guitar that is signed by the Talking Heads. A very nice Eric Clapton guitar. Uh, this, if you're interested in the guitar, you're going to need pretty quick because I think this is going to sell on eBay. Um, We've got a nice little American-made strat here. Now, this guitar needs a little bit of work. It might need a fresh up. It's still a very nice guitar, a lot of tuners. Um, if you're not wanting to spend a lot of money, but you still want something really nice, got a nice Squire Telecaster. Um, this guitar has brand new strings on it. I did a little setup in um, Justin Trust Rod. It plays very nice. And. Here's an exciting piece. Uh, this is a 1958 Martin classical guitar. It used to be tuned. But very nice guitar, very nice sounding guitar. Something if you're into that, you're looking for a vintage Martin guitar, something nice to come in and check out. Uh, several bases, several entry level guitars. Now, amongst the entry level guitars, we've got a GNL Legacy. This is a little more than an entry level guitar. Um, these guitars sell for, I think, six, seven hundred bucks new. I'm going to give you a good deal on it if you popped in. This thing looks great, it plays great, it's in great shape. And, and there's, just, there's just so much more to show you. So, the best thing to do is to come on in. Once again, that's uh, St. Lucie Jewelry and Pond um, in Jensen Beach Boulevard. And uh, take a look for our address and phone number there. And um, I'm Russ. If you feel free to call if you have any questions, I will be here for a little while. If I'm not here, Jerry will answer your questions or he'll be able to get a hold of me and uh, we'll get you going. Thank you.